Okay, this one is eigenvalues and eigenvectors C19, and we're asked to find several things for matrix C. The eigenvalues, the eigenspaces, which would be the particular uh, eigenvectors that correspond to these eigenvalues, and then the algebraic and geometric multiplicities, which basically indicate uh, the dimensions of the eigenspaces. Uh, you know, these are there are subtle differences between the algebraic and geometric multiplicities, but for all intents and purposes, that's roughly what it indicates is what's the dimension of the eigenspaces. Okay, so first thing to do is to find the characteristic polynomial and solve it. So it's going to be negative 1 minus lambda, 2, negative 6, and 6 minus lambda. So this would be the matrix that will give us the uh, characteristic polynomial. So the characteristic polynomial is going to be uh, negative 1 minus lambda times 6 minus lambda and then that plus 12. And then we'll set this equal to 0 because we're actually looking for the eigenvalues now so we don't just want the characteristic polynomial we want to solve for when the characteristic polynomial what the roots of that equation are. And of course the reason for that is this is the determinant of this matrix and when the determinant is equal to zero, the characteristic polynomial is indicative of the eigenvalues. Okay, so let's do the expansion. This is gonna be negative six uh, minus six plus one, which is minus five lambda plus lambda squared plus 12 equals zero. So that's lambda squared minus five lambda uh, plus 6 equals 0. And fortunately, this one's easily factorable. That's what we hope for. We don't want to have to use the quadratic formula. But this one factors easily into lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 3 equals 0. And that provides roots of lambda equals either 2 or 3. So those are the eigenvalues. So we've taken care of the first step. Now to find the eigenspaces, we want to find the null set of this matrix once we sub in each one of the lambda values. So first, lambda equals 2. When lambda equals 2, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, 2, negative 6, and 6 minus 2 is 4. So here is the augmented matrix when lambda is equal to two. And what we're looking for is the null set of this particular matrix. This one I can do by inspection. And we can do that because notice both these vectors are in a two to one ratio. So I know I can reproduce this vector set with simply one and two. So that means x1, the very first eigenvector is gonna be one over two. And basically, if I use that as my vector set, then that's the eigenspace. So you can see it has a dimension of 1. That tells me both this algebraic and geometric multiplicities. Those use variables alpha and gamma. And in both cases, those are both equal to 1 for this one. Because that's the only vector I need. You can see by inspection, I can produce everything in this set with 1 and 2. Uh, linear combinations of those will produce all these. Okay, now let's check the second one. So when lambda equals 3, uh, again, we're just going to rewrite the original matrix with our new lambda. That's negative 1 minus 3. That's negative 4, 2, uh, negative 6, and 6 minus 3 is 3. And you can see here that things have changed a little bit. Now they're in a 2 to 3 ratio. So that becomes our second eigenvector or eigenspace is 2 to 3. And that will then produce everything in this particular vector set. So this is the complete set. This is the entirety of the eigenspace for this eigenvalue. So this is actually the eigenvector for it. And uh, same thing holds true. The alpha is equal to the gamma, which is equal to 1. You might wonder, when do we get alphas and gammas that are greater than 1? And that would be if there were multiple eigenvectors that actually corresponded to a given eigenvalue, and we'll see that in a later example. Okay, uh, so that's it. Those are the eigenvalues, the eigenspaces, uh, the algebraic and geometric multiplicities.